Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The focus, the intensity, a necessity at Bulldog Stadium in Fresno, California. These guys have bumped shoulder pads with each other in warm-up. Now they're ready to hit somebody in a different colored jersey. Kickoff coming from Fresno. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. San Joaquin Valley. We're in beautiful Fresno, California. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and down he goes to the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And a quick throw. Fresno State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. He goes out of bounds at the 26. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. the 33-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. They'll bring him down at the 33. going to get it. Great stop. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he could get to the sticks. Parker, back deep to return. They'll bring him down to the 28-yard line. Boise State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. He's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. A gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Watch two, watch two. He's at midfield. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense.
from the 43 yard line. It's first down. And he's tackled around the 43 yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down at the 31 yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. From the 31 yard line. First down. And he is drilled at the 23. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. It's the ninth play of the drive. the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Broncos are right where they want to be early in this one. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 28. He's to the 40. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Butler has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the seven. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the leads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this team. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Uh -huh. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. On play action. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. goes the 39 yard line how about the big fellas up front this line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective so at the end of one we get a tie game at 7-7 ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's at the 30, gets out to around the 28. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Fires incomplete. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they push him out around the 22-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. So they're going to go for it here. Around the 10 yard line. First down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Pitch left. Brought down at about the 11. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away, you just need to execute better next time. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Oliver on the inside handoff. Touchdown, Broncos! He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. He hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Ewing has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Greer takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Fred, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Makes the first down catch. 
Tackle around the 44 yard line. Yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. Mike 13. Mike 13. Mike 13. Mike 13. Mike 13. Mike 13. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Number three. The intended receiver. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Awaits the snap. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Boise State is up by a touchdown. He lets it fly. Pulls it in, and he could score. Inside the 30. Touchdown! And Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's get you up to date on what just happened in Columbus. And for Ohio State, they're sleepwalking through this thing. They don't turn it around. They're going to get into a world of trouble. Johnson's strength as a runner has carried him into the end zone for a touchdown. The Aztecs are on top, 10-3. And for Boise State, they played Boise San Diego State last week. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out at a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. They'll bring him down at the 37. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's level at the 42. Offense lines up in a five wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Slings it. He's taken down at the 46. Spread the field with five wide. First down, Greg. And he's tackled at about the 21. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Fire 
quickly, and he's got his man. Very good tackle in space. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They'll get him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. And this play is number eight on the drive. They go back to him on a quick throw. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Sooners come into today's game ranked number seven. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Sooners are out front, 21-14. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Boise State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Boise State is up seven. Wide out makes the first down catch. He gets hit out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. the first down and he's taken down at the 30 the Broncos are going to call their second timeout from the 30 yard line first down and his hands on it and dropped it Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense that was a sure interception only to be dropped Is one for the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 24. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Our score is Boise State leads it 21-14. 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. Tackle Mays at the 30-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Boise State up seven points. Gets out to about the 31. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Just throws this one away. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going left. Almost picked off. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. Walker is the deep man awaiting the return. And he can't hang out of the ball. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Gains 
his way to the 10 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That will bring up third and two. Roger, Roger. Mike 13, Mike 13. Check, check. This is Reaver. This is Check. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. That'll make it fourth and six. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and he's got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Bulldogs entered today's game ranked ninth in the country. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Georgia's on top, 14-7. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen. Though. Butler is lined up to kick this one off from the five-yard line. And he just got drilled. The Bulldogs have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Boise State is up by four. Takes a hand on tackle for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. Release tight end incomplete. James is the to receiver. That makes it third and eleven. He's going to go for the home run. Brought down at the twenty-five yard line. Smith makes the set to at the twenty-five yard line. First, First down. down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. Harrell with the tackle at the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 12. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 70-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 28-17. Greer, from the seven, he makes it to the 25-yard line. Boise State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 25. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. The Broncos in front by 11. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. play of the series. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Taken down the 20 yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Big play, and it's first and goal. Team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. <laughs> He's got it for two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Boise State is up a field goal. He's got it. 
with room to run. Inside the 30. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Got his receiver, touchdown. converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Boise State's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it, when they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Fires it out. And he's taken down at the 37. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out, and he's tackled right on the 26 yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 12. Just under three to go in regulation. Got a man in and out of his hands. From the 12-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's got an opening. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Plenty of action going on in the top ten. And for Texas A&M, they march down the field and get the game's first touchdown. And for Ramsey, he has one touchdown pass. The Aggies have the lead, 7-0, early in the first. In another game, let's take a look at Lexington. And for Stratton, solid, not spectacular, better than 150 yards pass. The Cardinals waltz out with a 16-point victory. And for the Broncos, wow, that's big news. If that score holds up and they win this game, it's going to be good news when the National Bowls come out. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the 9. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Well, I know momentarily Reese Davis is going to have an update for the rest of the country from our game because all we've got is offense. We have no defense here. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Throws it deep. Picked off. And he hits him hard at the 42. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. From the 42-yard line, first down. 
Just over two minutes in the game. The throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. And down he goes, around the thirty six yard line. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. He makes the PAT. No state yet set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four yard line. Tackle made at the 29 yard line. The Broncos have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Just over a minute left. Up the middle for a nice game. Quick pass. That's a great tackle. The 37 yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. run up the middle. Boise State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He unloads it. It's broken up. You know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. Great technique. He's in position. He knocked that football away. And it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Craddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Well, you can 
can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Fresno State is up by four. Boise State's called their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Fresno State 39, Boise State 35. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? This has certainly been a special game to remember. Boise State made a few more mistakes in this game than their opponents. Whether it's turnovers, penalties, missed tackles, or blown assignments, you just can't afford to make mistakes and expect to win. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.